So it's 2020, a start of a new growing year. In this video, I'll be showing you which seeds I'll be growing. I'll be showing off my new mini greenhouse and there'll also be a seed giveaway. So make sure you stay till the end of the video. We'll see you in a bit. Right, what I'll be using this season is these cheap propagators that I had. I'll be using the liquid plant food from Aero Garden and these Pete's pellets. So uh, I'll get a pellet in each one of these and we'll start off with the first tray. These pellets will uh, soften once uh, we add some water in them and they'll expand a little bit. Try and get them as uh, far down as you can. Just so we don't have to overfill it with water. Right, we'll be doing the 40 dragon's breath seeds in this tray. And then we'll be doing our uh, cross pollination in the other tray. I'll just uh, finish off putting the pellets in here and we'll be right back. Okay, so that's all the pellets put in. Now I'll uh, go to pop my seeds in just before I put the nutrient mix in. Just in case the holes in the peat pellets uh, actually close up. So uh, let's get some of the dragon's breath seeds in. I'll put one in each and then we'll see how much we've got left and we'll divide them between them. We should have enough seeds to fill all 40 and some spare as well. Right, taking care to put the seed into the dimple in the middle. Okay, I'll plant the rest of these seeds and uh, I'll be right back. So I've managed to get two of the Dragon's Breath chilli seeds in each pellet and I've got 15 of the seeds left. So I thought I'd give, uh, do a bit of a giveaway. So for your chance to win the 15 seeds, just comment below and we'll get a random number generator and we'll pick one of the comments in an upcoming video. And I'll get you to message me and we'll... Uh, sort out when to send the seeds off to you right what i've got here is a mixture of the uh, aero garden liquid plant food and water so i've put about a quarter of a capful in a liter and a half uh, sorry a pint and a half of water so uh, let's get the water in. Better to do it from the side actually because the seeds are floating a little bit. So we'll just pour it in from the bottom corner here. Right, we want the water to cover the pellets. Not quite there. Let's put a little bit more in. And a little 
little bit more. I think it'll take all of that. Okay, I think we'll need another pint. I'll just check in the bottom here just to see whereabouts it's coming to. Yeah, we'll get another pint and a half of the nutrients mix and then uh, I'll be right back. So I looked on the back of the instructions and I realised I'd put a little bit too much nutrients in with the water. So what I've done is I've put another pint and a half of water, just plain water in there. As you can see the uh, pellets are starting to uh, inflate and rise up now. So uh, I can straighten them out a little bit. Right. Let's move on to the next tray. So uh, I'll do the same. I'll get the cocoa pellets in here and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've put the pellets in the tray. Now let's get planting our cross-pollination seeds. Right, these are Pepper X. Let's uh, pop two of these in the end one. Pop three in there. What? Next, we've got Carolina Reaper. It's been uh, heat sealed here. Let's just get that open. All right couple of these now um, what I'm aiming for is uh, uh, there we go three in there what I'm aiming for is to get as much super hot crossed with the dragon's breath as I can and uh, hopefully I can come up with uh, some new varieties and next we've got the but jollica white right let's get a couple of them In the third one, actually, I'll uh, I'll put these seeds in the fourth one. Because uh, I'm gonna put the Carolina Reaper yellow by the Carolina Reaper there. So uh, the little chili shop in Bumaris uh, gave me some of the pods. So this is the Carolina Reaper yellow. Let's get a couple of seeds out there. Let's see about three. In there. Wow, smells uh, really hot this. <sighs> Tempted to have a little try in a minute. <laughs> no. So yeah, the but Jolica white there. Then we've got a 
but Jolica Peach as well that we got for free off the little chili shop let's pop these in there one two three and next we have the chocolate bootler right we will be going back to the little chili shop when i get some time off just to pick up another couple of seeds that i'm interested in so uh, i need a black super hot of some kind and a purple super hot so uh, i'll go back in about a week or so after the christmas period that's uh, two seeds trying to get it in the middle there uh, let's put one more in just so we can be safe with the cross pollination plants there we go that's all the cross pollination and now uh, i've got some tomato seeds which i'm uh, going to do a a sauce recipe with but i'll have to wait for the tomatoes to grow first i've got a little bit of an idea so uh, i've got some uh, plum tomatoes some san san marzano plum because they'll give me the the most juice so let's get about three seeds of them in there whoops a little bit too much let's pop that back in there in the middle if i can ah oh, there we go we've got three in the middle there's a stray one there but i'll get rid of that when it germinates right i'm just going to Put another mix of the Aero Garden liquid plant food in and uh, I'll be right back. Right, I'm back with the liquid nutrients. Let's get that in there. Now as you saw with the other one, the uh, pellets will expand once they get the water in them and there we go we just got to flip this one around because the seeds are floating a little bit right i'll get these into the geopod and uh, i'll be right back right there we go we've got the pods in the mini greenhouse i've set the temperature to 20 degrees so uh, it should be nice and cozy there i'm going to put the lights on a bit of a timer uh, 10 hours on and uh, 14 hours off okay hopefully in about two or three two to four weeks these will be uh, sprouted i'll uh, be back with you then and we'll show how they've uh, progressed we'll see you in a bit unfortunately there's been a bit of an accident over the last couple of weeks one or two of the plants died um, they're growing back now uh, there's a few of the cross-pollination ones there and uh, I think about seven of the dragon's breath have uh, germinated so the problem was 
there's a little temperature probe in there and that had fallen out while I was uh, moving this the plants about so once that's out of the case the temperature gauge which is uh, up here was uh, not reaching the uh, temperature that it's meant to uh, I've set it to 22 at the minute it's sitting at 20 but I've only just taken it up to 22 but basically the temperature of the probe like this was never getting hot enough for the temperature that it was set that meant that it was overheating and all the nutrient water that I put in with the plants in there had all evaporated so the plants died I'm making sure now every day when I uh, check it to make sure that the temperature probes in anyway so after that little mishap I panicked a little bit and um, I thought uh, none of the plants were gonna germinate I mean and I was looking at getting 40 plants for my polytunnel this year so after the panic I went out and bought some pods so what I've got here is I've got 40 Carolina Reaper pods which have uh, already been grown a little bit so I am now going to transplant these into small pots I got them off Chili Kings um, just the uh, company that I found on eBay and they uh, they're basically what they do is they they grow the seeds and they pre-harden them for you so they start them off in a heated propagator and then they move them into a greenhouse which they lower the temperature of so that they're uh, hardened off a little bit um because it, obviously in the uk um it's very cold um around april when you're starting your to put your plants in the polytunnel or greenhouse or whatever so they've already been pre-hardened i'm going to defeat the object now and stick them back in in a heated propagator here but uh, we'll see how they do anyway um right i'll get set up um i've got my potting soil and i've bought a little potting tray from uh, my local garden center which is a uh, pretty good and um, I've got some perlite and some vermiculite there right I'll just get set up and we'll get these plugs into pots back in a bit right so we set up so what I was saying was I uh, got this little potting up tray in uh, my local garden centre it was only £5.99 get the steel right I'm just gonna roughly measure the uh, soil mix up here. So we uh, start off with a, a little bit of young plant compost. I'm going to mix this by eye. Usually put about One tenth of uh, the Michelite, and then uh, about a fifth of the perlite. So we'll start off with the perlite. Do, I think. And then 
some of the vermiculite. mixed up right so that's the soil mix the perlite and the vermiculite helps get the water and the air into the plants so uh, that looks about right I've just uh, gone ahead and pulled all the plugs out of the box and what I didn't realise was that I had a little bit of uh, capsaicin oil from Chili Kings for free so uh, that's very kind of them and uh, also with all the plants you've got a little label so they give you all the labels as well for the plants which is pretty handy <coughs> I'll uh, start the planting then so the uh, plugs can come in little curry style containers like this they've uh, poked some holes in there themselves just to let some air in and uh, they're wrapped up in bubble wrap like this pretty cool actually right so I'll get some soil in our first pot let's move these across room to work with right get the first one out being very careful dig a little hole in here they're well saturated there's uh, quite a bit of water in there obviously they send them in the post so these arrived actually in three days so uh, right that's our first one done I'll plant the other 39 and we'll have a look at them in this uh, geopod here I'll be right back So there we go, we've got all our plants in the geopod and uh, we'll have another look at them tonight. I've just uh, given them a load of water and the lights should come on in about an hour or two and then uh, we'll come and have another look at them tonight and 
we'll plant a few more of the cross pollination plants as well there's only um, a few of them that have come up so I'll see what hasn't and we'll uh, plant them tonight as well I'll see you tonight so life got in the way and I didn't come back upstairs and plant those chilies like I said I was going to so it's been a couple of weeks since the Carolina Reapers have been repotted and as you can see they're looking pretty healthy I'll just uh, remove the cover off the second part here there we go and as you can see in the distance there there's about eight of the dragon's breath chili that have uh, germinated but only three of my other cross pollination the pepper x the, the carolina reaper yellow and the carolina reaper peach so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to repot all these dragon's breath and the other reapers and pepper x and then i'll be planting a few more of my seeds to see if i can get the chocolate but jolica and some of the others to uh, germinate this time so i'll get set up and i'll be right back so i've mixed my soil with my perlite and my vermiculite and these are the dragon's breath peppers here right just gonna slowly try and pull these out without damaging any of the roots try and break it a little bit There we go, there's one. Right, let's get some soil in. Little hole in the middle. Pop the little plant in. There we go, there's our first little dragon's breath. I'll just pop a little label. We got these with the Carolina Reaper pods. So uh, I've just relabeled them with a sticker to say Dragon's Breath. Right, I'll get potting the others and I'll be right back. So there we go, there's uh, 10 dragon's breath peppers all together, more than I thought. Uh, there were just one or two that had germinated in the same pod, so um, I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, we'll get these inside the, the old mini greenhouse and then we'll start potting up some more seeds. I'll be right back. Right, so here are the other plants that are for the cross-pollination. I've got uh, two of the Pepper X, one Carolina Reaper Yellow, and two of the Carolina Reaper Peach. I'll get these potted up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, what I've done is I've cut up a little bit of the seed tray to put it in a small plastic container so it'll fit with all the other chili plants in the mini greenhouse now and I'm going to try and grow another four different chilies to cross pollinate 
So I've got the Carolina Reaper Yellow, I've got the Pepper X, I've got the Carolina Reaper Peach. Now I'm going to try and get some of the other colours. So here I've got a uh, Black Naga Jolica, a White Ghost Pepper, a Purple Blood Jolica, and the Chocolate Bootsler, which didn't germinate the last time. I'm going to try it again. Right, before I do that, if you'd like to just smash that subscribe button for me, it would really help my channel if you did. And uh, also knock that bell icon as well. Right, let's get planting. So I've already soaked the cocoa pellets. I'm going to use two of the sections for each chilli and I'm going to put two of the seeds in each section. So let's start off with the black Naga Jolica. Two in there, just cover it with a bit of the cocoa palette. And let's pop another two into the other cell. There we go. One, two. Right, cover it with a little bit of the Cocoa palette, so it has to fight its way out with it. Right, next after that, we'll go with the chocolate boots, I think. Okay, so let's get four of these seeds out. One, two, in that one there. There we go. And one, two, in that one there. Pop these back in the packet. Try not to drop them. <laughs> One, two, three, four back in there. Right, next up we've got the purple but jollica. So what I'm trying to do here is uh, go for as many different colours as I can and then I'll cross pollinate them with the dragon's breath chilli plants we've got. And hopefully come with come up with some new coloured dragon's breath chilies. So the end goal is to uh, just use dragon's breath chilies for the sauces, but uh, try and get as much colour variant as we can. So yeah, that's two in there. Now on to the white ghost pepper. A little bit fiddly these packs. in that one and two in that one There we go. Right, 
we will get this in the mini greenhouse and give it a little bit more of a watering just a touch more because there's already some water in there and then we'll give you another little bit of a look I'll be right back all right so here we go there the seeds are ready to be germinated the plants that we planted up earlier and all over there so uh, that's it for this video but remember if you want to win these 15 dragon's breath seeds just leave a little comment below and remember if you're going to go hot go super hot see you on the next one